Hello family, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for clicking my video. Today I am doing a wig show and tell on a wig that was sent to me from Arabella Hair. The website link to this wig will be in the description box with other website links that you might be interested in. When you order, they send you some extra items in the box like a wig cap that comes with two pieces, a edge brush slash comb, a Arabella edge band, this cute scissor hairpin, these ruby lashes, which are very cute and natural looking. The wig comes stored in this long clear Ziploc bag. Here is a close up of inside of the cap construction. This is a 13 by 4 HD transparent lace front wig. Behind the lace front, so there are three combs and another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. They also sewed a elastic band on the inside of the wig to help give it an extra secure snug fit. The lace color is light and their hair texture feels like it's on the silky side. This is how the wig comes straight out of the package. Again, this is Arabella 26 inch pre-colored red and black highlighted lace front wig. Here's a close up of the hairline. The hairline comes very lightly pre-plucked and the knots do not come bleached. When you receive the wig, it comes as a middle part and the wig come lightly curled for you. You can wear this wig straight out of the package, cut the lace and you know adjust it to your liking. But y'all already know I'm gonna have to go in and add some customizing, especially to these dark knots. So I combed out the, I'm sorry, brushed out the curls that was on the wig. And this is how it looked after I brushed it out. And it's not bad, it just need a little touch up in the front with a hot comb, but I'm gonna go in and redo the curls anyway. Off camera, I went in and applied some bleach. I left the bleach on the knots for about one hour and it took to the bleaching like not so bad. I still have some red knots left in there, but the black knots bleach pretty lightly. I use BW2 bleaching powder with 40 volume developer and Adore Rich Eggplant 186. Just a few drops of that in there to help tone the knots while it's um, bleaching so it don't come out so brassy. This was the amount of shedding I got after I washed the wig out and I left the wig to air dry and this is how it looks the next day. So with this wig, I decided to do a middle part. I also went in with my Andes hot comb on a high temperature setting and smoothed out the hairline so I could see how the hairline comes before I go in and pluck it. So like I said, you guys do not have to go in and pluck it, but I just want to show you guys what I did so you guys know how I got my end results. And this is how the hairline looks after I plucked it. You guys are probably wondering why is it on a male figure mannequin head, but the size of the male figure mannequin head is bigger than the woman figure. So that's why I use it. Now I'm gonna go in and add some curls. I'm gonna use my T3 curling iron and I don't have the temperature setting too high. I have it on the third circle setting. I'm not gonna show you guys how I curled the whole wig. I just wanna show you guys the type of curls I did so you guys know how I got my curls. But these curls aren't going to be too important anyway because later on I'm going to go in with the heatless curler to help set the curls overnight so it's going to change the shape of the curls but i'm just using the heat right now to smooth out the curls so when i set it on the heatless curler it will take the shape of the curler very easily because i already went in and added fresh curls
All right, so I didn't do nothing too fancy. Like I said, I just threw in some curls so I can use it to set it on the heatless curler. And I took out a few hairs by the temple so I could add my two little baby hair swoops. This is how it looks after I added the heatless curler in. I would like to give the curls a little extra hold. So I'm going to go in with this bedhead hardhead spray and just spray some of this all over the hair. Now I'm gonna go in and cut off the extra lace in the front and to cut off the extra lace in the front, I'm going to go in with these eyebrow razors and like always just take my time and cut in little zigzag motions right along the hairline. Take your time, do not rush because if you cut into the hairline, that will mess up the shape of the hairline and also cause shedding you guys. Underneath the wig, I am going in with a brown stocking cap. The hairline on this wig is really longer than my hairline, like really long. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut off some of the air tab. I have some leftover foundation on my brush, so I'm just taking that leftover foundation and wiping it on top of the lace of the hairline of the wig. Next up, I'm going in with this olive oil super hold spray and I'm going to spray one layer of this on top of the lace for this wig show and tell. Um, if you would like more of a harder hold, then I recommend going in with at least two layers of spray. First spraying the first layer on your skin, then blow dry it until it's completely tacky. Then place it down and spray another layer on top of the lace and blow dry it until it's completely dry. But there should be other videos out there on how to use the olive oil super hold spray if you would like like a you know, a longer hold for a few more days. Thank you. 
when I was finger combing the wig, I did end up getting some shedding. All right, y'all. So for this next part, I'm about to shake my hair route back and forth, back to back a little bit. And I only got to do two shakes. I wanted to do more than two, but my necklace kept getting caught on my chin. So I was like, let me just let these two shakes work. But the curls still came out gorgeous. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Part in the shade 360 and apply some of this powder on top of the lace to the parting space. This just helped hide my wig cap underneath and help the parting space look a little bit more like scalp. I'm also going to apply some of it on the lace of the hairline of the wig as well. After styling, this was the amount of shedding I got all together and to me that shedding is like low to medium. Okay, okay, right here is my end result. And how cute and simple is this? I love how the red is just a beautiful calm red, not too bright, not too dark. The highlights isn't too chunky. The color fades beautifully into the next color, like the way the black fades into the red. Y'all know I am not a harsh, a fan of harsh line of demarcation with colors. So I love how this have a natural fade. Like what? Say what? Arabella, I like this wig a lot, but I definitely will be giving it away to a lucky winner. So stay tuned for that, you guys. So the lace is a really nice melt, especially once you get it to match your skin tone. All I did was spray one layer of spray on top. I didn't even use the edge band to melt it in, but with the edge band, I know it would add that super extra melt that will help it look really natural. I really love how the color looked like a professional did it. And it's dope because if you're a person that wants to get into color, but you don't want to do all the work of coloring the wig, then this would be a really nice buy. The only thing that was not beginner friendly was me going in and plucking the hairline and bleaching the knots. But if you're a person that's willing to take the extra step into you know adjusting the wig to your liking so you feel good when you go outside then definitely by all means go ahead and take that step but i'm just showing you guys what this wig looked like from the arabella hair store so for anybody that's curious on what it looked like from their website this is it or if you're just looking for like another hairstyle or if you're just clicking to support your girl thank you so much so I went in and split the hair in the back. And when I split the hair in the back, my tracks is showing and you can't see my wig cap. The hair density is 180%. So it's a nice, thick, natural looking density. It feels like three to four bundles on a wig with a frontal. Again, the length of this wig is 26 inches and my height is 5'6". By the way this hair feels, if you live in a really hot place, I'm not sure if this wig will hold the curl. So I would definitely set it with some hairspray to make sure those curls at least set or you get some type of curl pattern throughout the day. The parting space is four inches deep, but to me it feels like about five inches. And I love how the frontal has a lot of parting space on the side. Sometimes you'll get frontals and the middle of the frontal has a lot of parting space and the sides just have like a little bit of parting space. But otherwise, I really like this wig. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. Please be safe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.